What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to discuss Warmind Cell Builds Void Edition. Um, this will be the second part of a three-part series where we're going over all of the different affinity um, selections on the Warmind Cell Mods. Um, so today let's go over the Void. Uh, like we talked in uh, my last video, uh, the Solar uh, Mods are really built around uh, Devastation and Ad Clearing where the Void mods are really built around uh, support and helping your team get not only more output with damage, but some protection as well. So let's kind of go over how these works. So of course you have Global Reach. Uh, that's a must-have in every build, and it is available on all three affinities. Um, the next one we have is Grasp of the Warmind, which states that you can pick up, carry, and throw a Warmind cell. Once a Warmind cell is thrown, you cannot pick it up again. Uh, this is a really fun mod, and it allows you to do a lot of things. So, um, so if, let's say you're in the midst of a fight in an area, you actually kill all the guys, the last guy you kill gives you that Warmind cell. Well now, you, now the Warmind cell is not very good, but now it allows you to pick it up progress to the next area and then throw it not only in a group of ads but you can actually stick enemies with it too really nice for tankier ads as well um, it allows you to take advantage of power of Rasputin Warmind's protection um, and uh, gives you just a little versatility um, the nice thing with it with bosses is that if you're uh, comboed with your team and say you're running a Warmind Cell build and everyone else is running Charged with Light but they all happen to put Power of Rasputin on, well now they instantly get an extra bump to weapon damage against the boss. You've got Warmind Protection on, you're going to take less damage from the boss. Really adds just a nice uh, flexibility with the Warmind Cells. Um, and and kind of keep some you know where you need them um, you know you can have suppression to keep guys off you while you're working on a tankier guy you get that bump in damage you get the protection so you're getting less damage incoming um, overall just is a really nice uh, mod and it can uh, yield some really cool builds um, very underutilized probably one of the least used um, but very strong next mod is one of my favorites um, i use this in a lot of my builds it's cellular suppression defeating a warmind cell creates a burst of suppressing void energy additionally you deal less damage to warmind cells um, now you're going to do less damage to the warmind cells because you want them on the ground more um, that way you can really just keep your guys suppressed and if you watch how long the suppression is um, with global reach you're obviously getting quite the range but your guys will be blind for uh, quite a bit of time, allowing you to clean a room or maybe, you know, clean up a champion that's just uh, kind of being uh, in your way. Um, and it allows you to um, just do it nice and easy. You don't have to worry about dealing with a lot of ads. And, uh, you know, you'll just have rooms of blind guardian uh, enemies getting, uh, you know, whacked the whole time. All right, now we're going to look at Power of Rasputin. You gain bonus to weapon damage against enemies that are near a Warmind Cell. Well, let's take a look at that, what that looks like. So without this mod on, I'm hitting these enemies for um, 1,104 in the head plus an additional for the uh, timed payload. Let's take a look at that. There's one really nice one, 11.4 and 183. Really nice. Okay, well now let's put that mod on and uh, see what power gives us. Um, I hit this guy not in a crit, so we're not going to count that one. And for the crit, now I'm getting 1214, and the time payload is hitting me for 916. Really nice bump to damage there. It's about 35%, um, and it does stack with things like weapons of light and well. Um, next one we're going to look at is the Warmind's Protection. Um, this is going to allow you to take more incoming damage, uh, as the d enemies near Warmind cells are going to deal less um, damage. So let's take a look at this. Um, first off, we're going to um, try it out where you're uh, not going to have a war mine cell on the field, and we'll see how many. So with the war mine cell, you know, it looks like before I hit red, I'm taking, you know, about 10 to 15 hits. Now, no cell on the field. It takes about five from the thrall. So really nice protection on that one. Uh, Warmind's longevity allows the Warmind cells to last longer on the field. Really nice if you're doing grasp and cellular, um, and it just combos really well. The last one is light from darkness. Become charged with light by rapidly defeating multiple enemies near a Warmind cell using weapons or abilities. 
Um, again, really nice uh, mod if you are going to run a combo between the Charged and Light and the Warmind Cell. Um, overall, you know, a lot of really cool builds come from the Void ones. Um, you know, I don't uh, run exclusively on the Void. You know, I typically will do a combo with, you know, maybe a Wrath of Rasputin, Rage of Warmind, Cellular Suppression, and Warmind's Protection. Um, for the lower end content, I'll focus less on Warmind's protection and more on the cellular suppression uh, mixed with the solar, um, as you're not looking for that uh, damage protection because you're usually cleaning things up anyways. Now for uh, higher end content where you're you know afraid of um, you know getting melted by bosses and even adds, um, you know the Warmind's protection, power of rescue, cellular suppression build, real strong. Um, when you do the uh, Grasp of Rasputin with the Cellular Suppression and Warmind's Protection uh, works great for GMs. Uh, it, it just does an overall great job keeping you alive. Well, and I hope that this uh, video has helped you out at understanding uh, Warmind Cells a little bit more. Uh, we will have a third one out going over all of the ARC mods. Uh, and if you like this content, please give me a like and a subscribe. I appreciate it. Thanks.